Hello there, Quicksilver Slash here, and today I have a replay courtesy of Crosstown driving the Tier 6 French Premium Battleship, the Dunkirk. And you'll already notice we're three and a half minutes into this game, and that's because Crosstown's computer crashed as he was loading in, and <clears throat> we're joining him as soon as he joined the game, and what a way to start at least his battle off. Citadel on the Molotov, 14,841 damage and really making up for lost time, if you ask me. It can be frustrating seeing ships stuck on the back, AFK, or unloaded. And the main way you can tell is if you look at a vessel and all of its guns are pointing fore and aft, they are not connected to the match. If their guns are all aimed somewhere, they're connected but not there. Whether it be something's frozen, they've walked away, who knows. But that's really the first way you can tell if someone's disconnected or not. But Croston's team managed fairly well in his absence, only losing one ship, and luckily for him, the enemy carrier never found him. I know the couple times I drive carriers, I absolutely love to prey on AFK battleships because they're big juicy targets, you're going to get lots of damage, and they don't typically have the kind of AA to repel a longer range attack. And oh my word, that Molotov just made a mistake running aground, and it's going to be Crosstown's first kill, four overpins for 5,000 damage, more than enough to finish him off. And... Wow, look at those DDs way in the backfield. <laughs> kind of lucky he didn't get preyed upon by them either. This Cleveland is definitely making Croston's job a little too easy, giving him a broadside, not even paying attention. The shells are A out, and eight shells of AP. Well, that's a paddling. And I know when this ship came out, right away I put a review out, and I really enjoyed it. And I used HE for the most part. I found the high fire chance, 8 shells all firing forward. In longer range battles, the HE is very effective. But everything for Crosstown is sub 10k, and the AP shells on this are not to be trifled with. That fire and learning just how strong they can be, doing 13,000 damage. And already, Having played only about two and a half minutes, Croston has managed 61,000 damage and two kills. So definitely a strong way to come back into a game and make up for the time he wasn't here, whether it be his fault or not. He's definitely proved his worth, having now more kills than the rest of his team. And the battle's even. They've got the only cap three ships down the side, things are looking good. Well, except for the fact that down in the south side of the map, we've got a battleship hiding behind the aircraft carrier, but tier 6 battle, what's new? So this Bayern, I think, is going to be his primary target for the time being, and the Byron looks to be actually turning in, giving a little better angle. Just getting forced by that island. Another solid hit, 5,000 damage, not the 13,000 he did, but enough. And you can see right away, the enemy team is starting to get corralled. And if you manage to do this to a team, and are coordinated in your attack, things will go well. If you corral an enemy team and then go at them one at a time, you're going to start losing ships very quickly. And, well, Croston's team is doing the uncoordinated version. You can see a Byron is pushed in all alone, way up, and the enemy team's got nothing else to really shoot at. So he's going to quickly bite the dust. Fortunately, well, actually, no, sorry, that's unfortunately. <laughs> Enemy Minikaze got a Cleveland, of all things. And you'd hope a cruiser uh, would do a better job than that of staying in the game. So things are not looking good for Croston's team. 
they're down a couple ships, they're down on points now. The enemy team is going to have a cap shortly here from a destroyer that's hiding in his smoke screen. And one of his destroyers is off messing about, kind of off in the west. I suspect they're looking for the carrier. And the rest of his fleet is kind of pinched down into a corner. And another big hit, 13,000 damage to that war spite. That definitely helps the effort of his team winning. And proves the point that this ship can do damage. And yes, the enemies are giving him a broadside, but if they're nose on, swap to HE, and you're gonna get a lot of fires in this thing. And with all the guns facing forward, no risk of exposing your own side. And you can see Croston is picking and choosing what targets he's shooting at, focusing in on things giving him broadside, and that destroyer there is getting focused down by those three quad-barreled guns on the stern. They're not that effective, unfortunately. What is effective are the main engines on this beast of a well, battle cruiser, really. She was built to catch up to the German cruisers and be able to keep pace with them. So she can get moving in a hurry, dodging all those torps there, and getting a little closer to the enemy in the process, which can only be a good thing when you have a juicy broadside like that. Five more hits, 9,600 damage, and well over the 100,000 damage mark, about halfway through this battle. Six minutes in, 100,000 damage, that's... It's a solid job. And this Fuso just insists on leaving his broadside to this Dunkirk. I, I'm guessing he's just not respecting it. I don't know what he is thinking about. And there's another 12,000 damage. Sooner or later, he's got to learn his lesson. The other thing worth noting is those secondaries did appear to light a fire on... Uh, that DD, you can see it ticking up. He got the Confederate there when he wasn't firing. So, who knows? Like, maybe he'll get a free kill just from a fire that ticks on forever. Finally, though, the Fuso does angle a bit. Not really enough with the Fuso's level of armor. And he's, you can see he's trying to get all of his guns firing it, and that is a mistake four kilometers away. And you can see Croston just waiting. He knows he can wait this one out just a bit until he gets even flatter of a profile and I suspect he's about to wreck it here. 17,705 damage. Not bad for something a lot of people really hate. I've seen a lot of hate for the Dunkirk and I think it's undue. Now, he is running a risk here of that Fuso closing for the ram. Fortunately, allies lit Fuso on fire, and he's going to be dead before he gets close enough. Here's one thing you always have to keep in the back of your head, is if you get a battleship onto low health close to you, they're just going to ram you for the hit points and damage. Uh, it's quite effective when you've got a thousand hit points, the enemy ship has 30,000 to make that trade. Nuremberg shows his side, eats a few thousand damage for it, and Croston is well on his way towards 200,000 damage. He's getting harassed by aircraft, and he's shooting a couple of them down, but Dunkirk doesn't have the best AA. No battleships really do, except the Americans a little later on. And he eats a big shot from that Bayern, but gets a Citadel, finishes off the Nuremberg. And it's a good thing because he's got to pay attention to a Mitsuki now. <clears throat> you can see he's slowed up, turning hard on the rudder to dodge potential torpedoes. There they are. Smart play, and that's what you have to do on a battleship. If a destroyer gets spotted, alter your heading and speed. Make sure you are not in the chunk of water you are going to be in. And that's a concept a lot of people seem to struggle with too. Well, things have definitely turned around for Boston's team. They're up by a ship, they've got two caps now, and 
really what's left is what's in front of Croston. There is an aircraft carrier off to the west, but he's not a primary concern. Destroyer gives him a pretty good profile, 6k, you're gonna get some hits. Unfortunately, only two. That poor aim biting him a little bit. And you really, you do wish he'd finish that DD off because with the Mitsuki, you know it's only a matter of time before more torpedoes are coming your way. The Byron, shown his side, takes a mild hit from the friendly battleship, and then a full volley from Costin, another 9,000 damage, bringing him up to 171,000 damage. This is a very good game, and definitely has been a pleasure to watch so far. I just hope it doesn't end with a bit of heartbreak and a, an untimely death for our uh, hero here. Secondaries are firing away. The torps are in the water. Can he get that Byron? Three hits, most of it absorbed by the gun, and there is his death. Well, that was definitely quite the game. 555,000 credits, 10,000 experience, slew of medals, 179,000 damage, only three kills, five citadels, but he definitely helped carry that game. And, you know, kills don't always mean you've had a good game. Damage always pretty much can mean you have a good game. And he finished a couple ships off very quickly in joining that match. And that's what you have to do. If you've been AFK for one reason or another, get in there and start making up the lost time as Croston did there. And you can see top of the team, 2,770 base experience and definitely some help out from uh, a couple friendly ships who did quite well themselves. But as always, the main reason you drive premium ships is to earn them premium credits. And he walked away with 525,000 credits after all his repairs and supplies and massive experience for a captain. I can only assume uh, he's enjoying making that kind of XP. And a half million credits is no shy amount. That's more than I've ever gotten from any of the containers I've been opening. Anyways. Thank you very much for sending this replay in. I enjoyed it, and it's proof that just because you're not there at the start of the game doesn't mean you aren't going to carry your team. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, consider giving the channel a thumbs up or subscribing. Both help me out well on the way towards my next milestone of 500,000 subscribers. And if you want to send in your own replays, quicksilverslash at gmail.com. It's in the channel description. I love receiving them, and I'm going to try to feature every replay I get sent in assuming something in the replay doesn't break because of an update. Anyways, I'm Quicksilver Slash, and as always, I'll have another one for you guys later.